größten Stärken sind, dass ich My greatest strengths are that I can listen, that I want to help and provide support, and that I'm solution oriented and don't want to waste time talking. My name is Philip Wesemann. My name is Philip Wesemann, and I'm the mayor of the town of Faust in the Lausitz region. I'm a facilitator, but I'm also the person who says how the town should develop. If the wall hadn't fallen, I probably would still be living here, but with a completely different career. Or at least I hope so. <laughs> I hope I wouldn't have kowtowed to the regime just to get ahead. In the former East Germany, if you wanted to go into politics, you had to join the Socialist Unity Party. Yeah, Philip, yeah. Philip Wesemann became mayor in May of 2015 at the age of 25. He's the youngest mayor in the state of Brandenburg. Anfang 50. The stereotypical image of a mayor is a man in his early 50s with glasses, an established man, tough as nails. At least that's my impression. People are surprised that I'm the mayor. I'm not your typical 25-year-old. I have enough self-confidence to talk to people on their own level, to hold serious conversations, to listen to people's ideas and present my own. That's not what people expect. They usually expect some kind of kid who just wanted to become mayor someday. Forest is on the eastern edge of Germany, on the Polish border, and has a population of some 20,000. Philip Wesemann was born in September of 1989, just a few weeks before the fall of the Berlin Wall. As a teenager, he discovered his love of bagpipes, after training as a biology lab technician in Berlin, he came home to Forst. He joined the Social Democratic Party and quickly rose up through the local party ranks, winning a runoff election for mayor in March of 2015. Being mayor means, among other things, hardly having a private life. You can't just hang out with your friends in a restaurant or have a laugh. People give you funny looks. And you can't just go to the supermarket without someone scrutinizing your grocery cart. That's a big change for a 25-year-old. The most important things in life are friends, family, and being happy. He's having lunch with his best friend Sarah and his boyfriend Stefan. Philip never tried to hide their relationship. <laughs> Some people have a hard time with me being so open about it. They keep away to avoid embarrassment. Others accept it as normal. Philip's next appointment is taking a group of older SPD members from Western Germany on a tour of the town and its history. They are old enough to remember how the country was divided. The generation that fought for reunification does say it was a good thing, but they also say there's been a downside. There are still prejudices. It's different with the younger generation. They think differently. Among my friends, we never talk about people coming from the East or the West. It's more like there are Germans and Bavarians. <laughs> Not many Germans of Philip's age are involved in politics. According to a survey commissioned by Deutsche Welle, only about a third of those born in 1989 or 1990 are active in politics or social affairs. Of those, most work with children and teenagers or are active in a sports club. 16% are politically active. 14% are involved with a church or other community. Wesemann wants people to get more involved and to get the young interested in politics. As a young person, he of course sees the potential of social media. 
mitnehmen. Also schon die Möglichkeit geben, das ist deine Heimatstadt. This is your town. Come join the decision making process. Assume responsibility. You have the opportunity to decide what we do here for your generation. In the evening, a barbecue with the visitors. It's been another long day. For Philip, 25 years of German reunification is a reason to celebrate. I'm grateful to the people who took to the streets back then and fought for the freedom that I now enjoy.